Hey guys, reviews more back with their review. This is on yet another kitchen item. This is on another hot air fryer. I actually already own one, but I'm going to give that one to a friend. And this is going to be my new hot air fryer because it's larger and it looks cooler and does more interesting stuff. It is from the Discount Grocery or Organic Grocery. I wouldn't call it a Discount Grocery, but it's Lidl. L-I-D-L. Um, or Lidl, and I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, German has that amazing center aisle full of all kinds of goofy fun stuff and we're gonna today just take this out and test it out in front of everybody I'll give you some basic specs on it but before we jump into that as always if you find this review helpful please hit the like button it helps out me in the in the channel and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this so again this is from Lidl this is one of their many products that is from the Silvercrest brand that's based their in-house brand it is a 1450 watt air fryer now with this air fryer it will come with a trivet basically hold everything once you get it fried up it also has a uh, little grill but you don't need to use it it has multiple settings um, some preset for things like french fries meats that kind of stuff frozen french fries as well as cut thawed french fries which is kind of convenient um, the it has a little handle on there that's rubberized and it's see-through so you can also see what's cooking when it's happening my favorite feature on this is the fact that it has this little agitator I'm, I'm holding it right there. It's inside the base, and the basin is obviously non-stick. But that little agitator rotates around very slowly and basically turns over all the stuff. So you essentially, like for cooking french fries, I didn't have to shake it. So there was no shaking or flipping of french fries, which is kind of nice. So you can do that with other items as well. Uh, this air fryer is also unique in that uh, some air fryers do this, but not all of them. It heats from the bottom and the top depending on the setting you use. So some settings uh, will only heat from the top, some only from the bottom. It depends on what you're cooking. And there's me taking out the little oscillator right there. Um, but this heats from the bottom and the top, so you're guaranteed to basically get an even cook without having to worry about shaking out the pan. So basically it's really a one-stop kind of air fryer. You throw it in there and forget about it. To a certain extent, don't burn your house down. But um, it works extremely well. Your top temperature is in that 480 range. Your bottom temperature is in that 200 range. I guess, I suppose, at some level you can use this as a, as a boiler because it can hold liquid. Um, the instructions call for, and I do this the first time I do this, um, using a little bit of oil in the french fries. It made them too oily. It made them almost the consistency of like Five Guys Burgers french fries in the bag if you've ever been there. And this is just me running through it. To basically start it up, you turn it on. Uh, plugging in turns it on just fine. The on-off button actually starts the process, so don't hit the on button because it'll start up if you have something set in there. Uh, you then hit the set button. The first time it rotates through all the presets as well as three manuals that basically change where the heat's coming from. And then you run into all the various foods. Here you'll see frozen french fries. You see... Push the button, stupid. Come on, stupid. Push the button. Why am I... Okay, there, bad thing. There we go. Regular french fries. Uh, meats, uh, fish, and it runs through the whole gamut, and some red meat. So everything's in there, and really it's just affecting the time and temperature. That's the main thing. That's what those presets do, which is kind of nice. It was kind of like having pop the popcorn setting on a microwave. You then continue to press the set button to basically get to the temperature and time you want. It's all adjustable to a certain degree. The presets, you you're, you're given a range to work with. You can't take it down to a certain extent. You can't take it beyond a certain time basically that's more or less a safety feature in my opinion they don't want you burning everything and smoking your house up but you can adjust the temperature to a certain degree and on this first demonstration it's using like um i'm gonna say fr they're frozen french fries but they're like thin cut french fries so i lower the temperature and kind of follow the directions on the bag uh it's a full 20 25 minute cook so it's longer but that being said it's there's i think it includes the preheat in that time so normally like with some of these other air fryers you gotta preheat them this one it accounts for that in the cook times that are given in the little uh, booklet they give with all the quote-unquote recipes. And here's me just kind of fiddling around trying to get the temperature where I want it to be. Again, every time you press set, that toggles through a setting. The first setting is the preset uh, times like the frozen french fries, fish, chicken, yada, yada, yada. The second preset affects the time. The third, the third time you press the set button, it affects the temperature. And then you press the on-off button. Again, the on-off button, it does not turn the whole system on and off it turns on and off the heat source. So it'll always be on when it's plugged in. The moment you press that on button, if you have a setting put in place, it'll go. So just be ready for that when you're actually cooking. So don't th think you press that on off button right away. It's only when you start cooking the stuff. All right, so we're about to go ahead and dump the fries in there. There is a max fill line that accounts for base the capacity of the basin. And the basin itself is rated to hold two and a half liters or up to 80, about 85 fluid ounces. Don't worry about that. Go by that max fill line. Don't put anything above that and you'll be fine. Um, 
I think the the 85 fluid ounce is based on water being put in it. So you should be anything else you put in there is going to be inherently more than likely lighter. So you should be good to go. And in just a second, we'll see the French fries. They're super high end, incredibly expensive French fries. They are from the Grand Food Lyon, and they are just your standard like fast food thin cut French frozen French fries. Nothing special about them. Um, and I put oil in these. So that's the instructions according to the booklet that this came with. It said you can put up to like a little scooper of oil that comes with the little spoon comes with the actual product. I use half the amount because I was like, I don't really want these things too greasy. Um, and I will say this, when you get the results, they come out a little greasy. If you've ever been to a place called Five Guys Burgers, when they give you like the french fries in a bag, it's about that kind of consistency. They came out, they weren't bad. It's just, if you want like crunchy french fries don't put any oil in there there's no reason to do it um the air fryer will do it just fine and you're gonna see a secondary test with some crinkle cut fries where i put no oil in it and the results are better because i prefer dry french fries some people like it when they're a little bit greasy and hot i'm just not one of them it's just a personal preference kind of thing and so here we go um, you might not be able to see it in the video, but when you do press the on button, you'll know it's working because it'll turn bright red on the on the LCD screen as well as turn bright orangish red in the little cooking area. So you can see things cook and you can see the oscillator working and that's also kind of a little bonus because you get to see when things are done without opening it up over and over and over again. That's one of the probably the bigger flaws with some air fryers is simply the fact that once it's closed, the moment you take it out, it loses heat and then just takes longer to cook. It can it can lose some of the uh, crispiness, and this way you get to see it, so you know what's going on, which is also kind of nice. And here you you can see the oscillator slowly going through and kind of get an idea what the speed looks like. It's not gonna it's not a mixer. It's just gonna run through it. And guys, that's all I really need to say. If you want to skip ahead to the better test with the crinkle cut fries with no oil, you can go to about nine minutes and fifty seconds into the video, and that'll basically take you to those results. Um, I will say this is a good product. It feels sturdy. It's got three year warranty to it and Lidl, they sell good stuff. I mean, they just do. Um, so th I'll leave it at that and leave you with elevator music for the rest of the video. Again, at nine minutes, 50 seconds, if you want to see that second test and I I'll have, if you were watching the beginning, you'll see that there were time stamps at the beginning as well. So again, thank y'all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you find the video helpful and have a great day.